11th in 2000, 3rd in 2003, and he's up against Australia's Joe Marte, 5th in 2004. Both players proven form at this competition, and both desperate for this World Cup title. And with Amory Partney having taken the women's title for Australia, Joe Marte could make it an Aussie 1 2. Well, alongside me, former Great Britain international Cass Edwards, ready for this one, and it really is a cracker, isn't it? And Jason Belmonte once again living up to his nickname. Certainly popular with the uh, young ladies in uh, the Continent Bowling Centre just at the moment. A good looking guy from Orange, New South Wales. But they're on to a hide into nothing because that man, Jason Belmonte, in your picture, getting married the weekend after this competition to childhood sweetheart Kimberly. She's waiting back home and uh, watching this one on the internet. And I'm sure she'll be in contact straight away after. And there's his opponent, 33 years old now. Bill the Joker Hoffman, a member of the USA Weber Cup team. He's also played in the Masters competition over in the UK. And he's got a decent record at this competition. Cass, I feel that out there on the lanes, he's not going to uh, experience any nerves at all. Been there, seen it, done it, and he's appeared in front of the TV cameras a few times. Oh, just more than a few times, yes. Uh, Bill's actually averaged 229 this week for over the 40 games and he's just come off of uh, beating uh, Andreas uh, Gomez in the semi-final. Yeah, knocked over shot. the Colombian in, uh, in style. 247, 276. So to come on this pro lanes after shooting those two games, look out Jason Belmonte. Well, Belmonte, you'll uh, notice the very unusual style of his. We'll talk about that a little more. There's not many bowlers bowl in the way that he does using the two hands and we use the two lanes as well in this world cup format lanes 13 and 14 of this 32 lane center here in st petersburg well they've put on a very good show in russia so far let's hope the lads can put on a decent show to finish things off time to meet the two players Simon, great to see uh, lots of young bowlers in the centre watching this uh, 43rd Cubica AMF World Cup final. So the uh, tournament or the final ready to get underway. It's been a long, long week for these guys. It's a really intense competition. And at no stage, really, do you bowl against another player. It's you and the lane. It's you trying to build up the best scores that you possibly can. But by the time you get to the quarters and the semis, Cass, there, there is that feeling that you're up against someone. That's right. And it's, it's fortunate these two guys know one another. They've played uh, alongside one another in many, many international competitions. So they're, they're best of buddies, really. Although I can't see that uh, that's going to be for this first uh, couple of matches, these first couple of games. This is a world final and both players want to win it. A couple of practice balls to start with. We'll have a chance to look at that Jason Belmonte style. Two lanes, best of three games. And not unusual for it to go to the wire, and if uh, Belmonte keeps that up during the course of the match, then uh, it's going to be pretty tidy bowling. There's uh, some of the organising committee and some of the head honchos in the AMF organisation who've taken bowling across the world. In recent years, this World Cup has really gone from strength to strength, and 84 men started this competition, a total of 87 nations entering, Cass. Yeah, which is absolutely fantastic, Simon. It's uh, great that the bowling is uh, seen and played the whole world over. As you say, they're just uh, having a bit, bit of a warm-up session here, just making sure that their shoes slide in that plastic approach. Now, come on, tell us a story about Jason's bowling action, because... Uh, it's one that quite a few of you guys will know, but if you haven't seen the sport before, it's unusual to see a double-handed bowler. I think Bill Hoffman's going to deliver Practice this ball. Single-handed, the right-hander. And that's quite a unique little style he's got there on that approach. That'll be nicely for the Joker. Yeah. Now, here's the Belmonte style, Cass. Well, it's, uh, it's a two-handed uh, delivery with no thumb in the ball. So it's actually the ball sitting in the palm of his right hand. And he uses his left hand and right together get an enormous amount of rotation on that ball. We call it uh, revolutions. It's a spinning action which kicks those pins out when it hits the 1-2 uh, the pins, 1-3 uh, pins on the uh, right-hander's pocket, pocket shot. 
And as Jason says, it's, it, it's all because he started bowling two, three years of age when the ball was far too big for him at his dad's centre and consequently had to throw with two hands. That's right, yes, he couldn't pick it up with one hand, so it was two. And the style uniquely stayed with him uh, through his bowling career. He's now 24 and uh, arguably the best uh, amateur bowler in the world. Well, I can think of Oscar Palermo, winner last year, who bowls in a very similar way, but can you think of any other double-handers in the world? There is one uh, guy in America that came to the Springs, I'm a guy called Cassidy Schwab, who is actually a left-handed, two-handed player. That's and a top it, name. Absolutely. <laughs> and it may well be that we see him on uh, Tempe Bowling on TV sometime in the next year or so. It would be very interesting to see. It would be interesting to see Jason uh, up against him. Can you imagine a right-handed, two-handed against a left-handed, two-handed? I can imagine not much oil being left on the lane at the end of that one. That's right, yeah. These lanes are freshly dressed with lane conditioning oil down to about 42 feet from the foul line. Uh, the lane is 60 foot long and uh, what we call the back end of the lane is uh, from 42 feet to 60 feet. Should be bone dry and that's where the ball does all the work. There's lots of reaction and the hook comes in at that stage. And it's the rotation that the ball has put on the bowling ball that does all the damage in that latter part of the lane. Hooking into the uh, one in the three pocket for the right-hander. That's the head pin. And the pin just to the right of it as you look. So the warm-up phase uh, complete. The players are ready to go. We've seen uh, three 300s so far in the competition, three maximums. And the reason we don't get strikes all the way across the card is because the lane condition does change as the competition goes on, especially with the TV.